favorite villages in all of uh, Burgundy. And um, Christophe, thank you for having us in, in the cellar. Huh? Thank you, Daniel. <laughs> thank you for coming kit, from, kit. so far. Oh, well, <laughs> it's really not that far when I get to taste wines this good. Um, can you just tell me uh, just a brief history of the domain and uh, maybe the appellations that you produce? Well, so the, the estate, uh, the domain started uh, with my grandfather, Georges, in 1924. Uh, already at this time, he had uh, Chambol Musigny vineyards, Chambol Premier Cru, Amoureuse, uh, Badmar, and also Musigny uh, at this beginning. Mm -hmm. um, uh, quickly said, uh, then the, the estate has been increased in size. He was able to purchase vineyards uh, in the 50s, and he purchased more Badmar, also uh, some uh, the Moret Saint Denis Clos de la Bussière in 1953. Well, uh, was the Bonnemar he bought from the Domaine Belanger? Yes, he, bought, he purchased a part of it, yes, okay. uh, in uh, 52, 1952. Okay. Mm -hmm. This was, uh, in fact, the Domaine Belanger was shared between three, uh, Georges Roumier, uh, Claire Dahu, and Ponel, Pierre Ponel. And the three the, shared the, the ancient uh, Belanger Domaine. That, that is, that's the Domaine that was the Terre Blanche? No, or it's mainly Terre Rouge there. That's the it's, Terre Rouge. It's, okay. it's Terre Rouge. I see, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, my father then was able to also purchase a piece of Corton Charlemagne, additionally, so that's the single, the only white wine of the estate. And that's on the Pernon Vergeles side. Pernon Vergeles, uh, exactly. Mm -hmm. And uh, I also have now leased uh, vineyards in, uh, for long term uh, in Charme Chambertin and Ruchat Chambertin as well. Wonderful. So that's, uh, that's about the 12 hectares of, of, uh, of the estate, 12 hectares. And, um, uh, is there any particular style that you that you want to express in your wines? Um, maybe what you're looking for, or do you just respect the, the vintage and the appellation? Or what, what are you looking for in your wine? Um, my main uh, goal is to uh, express what the, the grape contains. So I I prefer to have to keep a soft hand on the wine making and also on the barrel aging. Uh, so that uh, all that the wine is expressing uh, in terms of uh, texture, in tannins, as well as uh, in flavors, is only due to the origin of the grapes. So um, I extract little, I do not uh, use so much of, uh, of a new barrel to, uh, to not, uh, to not uh, disform uh, the wines. Uh, I prefer light-bodied light wines rather than uh, big stuff, in fact. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the vineyard, are there any particular uh, treatments or techniques or uh, any work, special work in the vineyard? I don't do believe so. No. I've uh, given up with uh, I've given up with any weed killers uh, more than 20 years ago, um, fertilizers as well. Uh, but uh, I'm not in an organic uh, management of the vineyards. It's uh, lut raisonné, but very raisonné. Mm -hmm. uh, so that uh, we, I use mainly organic uh, products, but uh, I am not in organic culture. I cannot pretend that. Of course, back in the late 80s and 90s, Burgundy wasn't quite as popular uh, as it is today. Mm -hmm. uh, and your domain has expanded uh, maybe just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Do you f has it been easy for you to adjust to the, the change in the market? Uh, how do you feel the direction is going with Burgundy? And I think mainly we have not changed so much the marketing, in fact. Uh, the customers remain almost the same, um, distribution remains almost the same, and uh, I think it's good because it, uh, it proves that uh, we have uh, professional people behind us, I mean, to, to promote the wines uh, wherever it is. Um, no, for, for us, uh, of course, the demand has increased highly, yeah. um, but the, the style and the profile of customers remain almost the same. But I, I think that uh, one thing that I love about Burgundy and the Bourguignon is this loyalty to tradition and uh, to the clientele and continuity. And I've always found that there's, um, there's this honesty and commitment to, um, to the wine. 
and mm -hmm. uh, not on the market, mm -hmm. not the commercial mm -hmm. side. Mm -hmm. Although, of course, commerce is very important to the we success need. of the domain. We need that. But you still, uh, you and of course other domains I'm visiting, have remained very true to uh, the spirit mm -hmm. of Burgundy, which mm -hmm. of course I fell in love with, and that's sharing mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. and uh, the friendship. We, we, we like our customers, in fact. We like them, and we, so that's why we make such wines also it's to please them because we like them. I mean, we ought to keep them. I mean, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, uh, yeah, it goes in the two, the two ways. Uh, it's a two ways re relationship. Well, I hope that you will come back to New York and, and visit, <laughs> visit sure. us. And uh, I, I do have one more question. Uh, I know you like rock and roll because we've <laughs> we've rock and roll together a little bit. What is your who is your favorite rock and roll band? Who I like, I uh, love you. Uh, if it's not rock and roll, then it would be more like uh, you two. Uh, oh yeah, I like yeah, you two very much. It's I, I one think, of my favorite bands. I, and I know you have another favorite band. You call? Uh, you mean uh, Rolling Stones? No. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> 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 okay, <laughs> <laughs>